Hi! Welcome to Beer and Beautiful Places, the channel of adventure and beer. My name is Maddie and this weekend I'm hiking the San Gregorio, tallest mountain in Southern California. So if you are a regular viewer of this channel, first of all, thank you, you're cool. Second of all, I've been saying, yeah, I'm about to leave California, go back east, but I'm still waiting for some solar panel stuff to come through. I'm trying to upgrade my electricity before I leave because there's van build companies out here, but not so much back east. So I am going to post a video about updated van electricity. Sorry, it's really messy. But while I'm still in California, why not climb a mountain? You know, just why not? A beautiful drive part of the way through I was like oh does my does my face feel weird and then I was like it's because I've been smiling this entire drive but like for the last 20 minutes of the drive I was on a dirt hill going up and down so my car had a little hike for herself I am just finishing getting packed up this is really the best part of the adventure all the excitement Alrighty. Bye car. It says bye. Getting on trail at 340, which was not the plan. I'll probably get to my campsite a little after six, but I'm here and that's what matters. I do have my wilderness permit. see that there's been a fire in this area within the past couple years but it had to be a few years back because Manzanita which is this and whatever this is if anyone can tell me is starting to come back I was not expecting there to be any water because it's the end of the summer but here we are here's a stream I don't need to fill up yet but if you're coming then there's a stream here, it's like 20 minutes into the trail. After that creek, the trail is starting to climb, which is good, because it means we're making progress up the mountain. Been walking for about an hour and a half now. The trees are starting to thin out. I've passed Fish Camp Creek. I'm sorry, I've passed Fish Creek Camp, but I'm going to Fish Creek Saddle. So, I'm making progress. Look how perfect that mountain is. It's like it's made out of origami or something. Look what I found. Baby pine cones. See, these big pine cones underneath that tree have the little pokey part on each of the, uh, I don't know, petals, for lack of a better term. And if we look back at these, they have the pokey part too. So they must be baby pine cones. It's 
getting super flat now. This has to be it. Woo! It is! And look, they even have something that blocks the wind from your tent. So I came really far away from where I'm camping to cook because you don't want the smell of food by where you're gonna sleep. Then I remembered I don't have a stove. It's still in my backpack. <sighs> But all that walking was worth it for my beautiful fettuccine alfredo. So nice and warm. So after dinner, I set up my tent and all of a sudden it's dark outside. Um, I meant to bring a beer to drink as the sun sets, but uh, that's not going to happen anymore because there's very few bits of sky up here. But this is Hell or High Watermelon by 21st Amendment Brewery. It's a wheat beer that has a taste of watermelon. So, as always, I'm not telling you to bring beer into nature because... Number one, we don't put, want pollution. Number two, it dehydrates you. Number three, it's heavy. The list goes on and on. I'm just telling you, I'm just taking you with me. I'm just telling you a story in which I drink beer in nature. And if you do, you have to have to have to pack out the can, okay? But anyway, let's get to it. But it's really good. The watermelon flavor is so strong. This is really what I need after hiking uphill with a backpack on. The bear bag is hung. My feet are tired. My belly is happy. Let's hope for a good night's sleep. Woke up to a beautiful morning. It's already 9.30, but oh well. Not really in a hurry this trip. I'm just taking it easy. Because I'm going up and back, I can leave a lot of my stuff here. So I have my big backpack full of like my tent and everything, plus this little backpack with just the stuff I'll need for today. So I'll just hide this behind a tree or something and then come back for it. On trail for 10.45, the, this is a mini backpack. When I first picked it up, I was like, uh, you know, that's kind of heavy with water. But now that it's on my back, man, I can't tell you how much easier it is to carry than my big backpacking backpack. Feel like I'm floating. I even started walking with my trekking poles, but then it felt like overkill. And I was like, I might need my hands for scrambling at the top. So I left those behind as well. This area seems really unique to me to be walking through all these twisted trees that twisted up in the heat of the fire, burn scars, all these barren rocks. It looks so cool. I wonder if that's it right there. That's our San Gorgonio. San Gorg. Gorgeous Gorgonio as the kids are calling it these days. So there was a 20% chance of rain around 11. And it's around 11 and these clouds are starting to scare me. It's getting to a point where I'm at the same level as those mountains over there. Not super close to the top, I don't think, because there's still pl plenty of trees around, but it's a cool feeling to be making progress. So I found this, and I'm wondering how it formed, how it sunk into the tree. Maybe it started like this or like that, but 
when this tree was on fire, it just fell off and there was a cavity left over and then the fire rounded it out. Leave your guesses down below. Okay, it's starting to look like the top of a mountain. It's also starting to look like rain. Okay, I'm beginning to feel sprinkles, but I'm still hiking. Hopefully I'm almost there. The sky is back to blue above me, so I'm thinking it's not gonna storm as bad as it might have. But here we have a very interesting species. There she blows. Gorgeous Gregornio. I'm coming for you. made it it's about one o'clock which is right what i was planning and i'm here time to eat some lunch and enjoy the view so i scouted out a prime location to eat my lunch that was far away from any other people most of the mountains i've been on top of there's always a bunch of people taking pictures not really wanting to talk to each other getting their own little piece of solitude in nature. For lunch today, I have craisins, peanuts, salmon, which I forgot a fork for, so it's gonna be interesting, and baby food, because it came in a little pouch like this and I couldn't find any applesauce. And of course, a summit beer. Now for this summon beer, I brought Cairo Stash by Hump Valley. It's an Imperial IPA. Oh my gosh, you guys look. I think it was just a weird shaped one person plane that I've never seen before. At first I thought it was aliens. Honestly, I wish I could be like, oh my gosh, perfect beer to watch the view, but this actually isn't my taste. It's a little too bitter for me. I don't know what Imperial IPA is, but very bitter. 8.7% ABV, so I'm going to be dancing down this mountain. So I'm finally leaving after 45 minutes on the top of this mountain. It's just so cool being up here. Making my way down and the Imperial IPA is growing on me. It's so cool seeing these mountains and just being here and absorbing this place. If you haven't been watching my channel previously, why I came out to California in the first place was to take a seasonal job for the summer. And really, most weeks at that job, I was just trying to get through the week. In fact, I think that was every week. And, whoop, and that's not really how I wanna live my life. So coming out here and remembering these mountains are here and they're powerful and majestic and they've been here for thousands of years and there's the cycle of life and death you can see with the plants that are growing back in the areas that have been burned it puts things into perspective people come on trips like these to escape reality but this is reality you know i guess in other words reality exists beyond your reality of whatever situation you're in. Whether it's stressful, whether it's 
something that's really got you down in life. Reality is beyond whatever you perceive reality to be. It is sprinkling again, and I do not care. No sooner than I had turned off the camera did I hear a thunder roll. So maybe I do care a little bit. So it is definitely a thunderstorm. It's been going on for a few minutes now. Did you hear that? But it's been going on for a few minutes now and it's not to the point, I don't think, where I need to seek shelter immediately, you know, like get in the lightning position, but my plan is to get the heck up out of here as fast as I can. Pack it in, pack it out. Even if you're scared of dying in a thunderstorm. Storm's over now. That clap of thunder I got on camera was probably the worst of it. From there, I kind of jogged slash power walked down the mountain and then five minutes later, haven't heard any thunder since. It does smell phenomenal in this stretch of trail though because of the rain bringing out all the smell in the pine tree. It's 3.40 and I made it back to Fish Creek campsite. And I'm just gonna strategically throw my stuff from here into my big bag and keep walking as fast as I can. My goal is to get back to my car around six. So it's not like dark outside when I'm leaving. Good thing I left my pet cover on, right? Looks like you got a little ringed on. Back on the trail. It was definitely not fun going from a little backpack to this big one, but I definitely have less food and water than yesterday, so it could be worse. And just like that, I'm already back to the flat part, which makes sense because I was really booking it on the way down. I was thinking about that shower I'm gonna take after this. The faster I walk, the faster I get to be clean again. Oh, what a sight for sore eyes messy car. So that's just about a wrap for the gorgeous Gorgonio. But before you go, I just want to say thank you for coming along on this adventure with me. Makes it more fun that you're here. And I hope you come on some more with me. Have a good day. Bye!